Hello to all my viewers and others who happen to stumble upon this video. Jem here and now I'm going to be doing um, a book review for the second book in the Sweep series called The Coven by Kate Tiernan. Um, here it is. It's not really that great of a photo because I have no internet and I took a picture of this from the EPUB cover on my iPad. Morgan's powers are stronger than she ever imagined. She has visions, she, fought, she lights fires with her mind, and her spells work miracles. When her boyfriend Cal, a member of the same coven, insists that witchcraft is in her blood, Morgan is confused. Her, def her parents definitely aren't witches. They do seem to be keeping something secret, though something about um, Morgan's past. So my rating for this is an 8.5 out of 10. Well, actually, no, a 9. It was, I loved it, just like in the first book. So, where we left off, in the first book at the end, they find out Morgan is a blood witch. Being a witch is in her blood. She was born a witch. But her parents, her, her parents, her sister, they aren't witches. So, she gets to wondering, if she's adopted. And in the beginning it is um, revealed that she is. Her parents didn't want her to ever um, didn't want Morgan to ever know that she was adopted and wanted to keep it a secret from her from all her life and so she felt so betrayed and then she turned to Cal for um, comfort because she couldn't turn to Brie anymore because Brie has turned on her. Brie used to be her best friend, and now she's turned on her, and now she's trying to deal with the thing with her parents, her sister now, and apparently everybody in Widow's Vale, the town that they live in, knows that Morgan's adopted, except for her. And so it got her to be thinking about all these things, and she wanted to try to find out who her birth parents are. She was able to get a piece of her birth certificate, read the name of her mother, and do some research on her. Find out what happened, find out the roots of her heritage. And she was able to find out all these things. But then there's still also the foreshadowing, like, what uh, dangers are there right now? Because apparently, um, this is a spoiler, um, apparently some witch, a witch or something, killed her parents when they were in America. And apparently that same witch was killing, uh, the Bell Thicket, um, the Bell Wicket Coven, who Morgan's mother was a part of when she was younger. And so Morgan's mom, Maeve, I call her Maeve, I think it is, um, ran to America with um, her lover Angus and so they were so they're in America and soon after like seven or eight months after Morgan was born they were killed by arson because apparently they found all the um, they found runes just carved into their home written and all this and so um, people believe it was an evil witch or something and then Morgan is just trying to deal with all of this. Like, her parents are now dead. Her pa her um, The ones that she's been living with has been lying to her all her, her entire life. Her best friend has turned on her. But the only thing that she thinks was good about this was that she has Cal, her boyfriend, who is also a blood witch. Now, um... That's how the story mostly goes around. Um, I'm not going to say the ending, of course. It's really suspenseful, this book. I really loved it. It was really good, well written, even though it was really short. Um, I don't like the fact that it was short at all. Though there were, there was possibly that there were some um, words that I misread. Um, because of the EPUB I have on my iPad, there was a lot of missed words like ale, A-I-L, which was supposed to mean all, and 
there was a lot of just little in little grammar mistakes, no periods to end things, and just keep going on. But I was still able to enjoy the book. It was a story that counts, but it's just, I didn't like the EPUB version. Though I do ha now have all 15, which is a relief, so I can read all of it. Apparently, I saw online that there's maybe a 16th book coming out for the series. I'm not sure. Although, I am hoping to get through all 15 books of the series before the end of the year. Because they're only around 200 pages, not even that thick, about this um, thick, probably. And I'm going to be reading all of them on my iPad. So, let's just see how this goes. Um... It's the 7th of January. I'm most likely not going to be able to put this up until next week, unfortunately, because um, my internet only works on my phone. And it's still uploading the video that I was um, trying to upload yesterday. Because I did a review yesterday, and it's still trying to upload that one, the book review one, right here. And this one I'm just trying to upload for myself. So, a lot of problems have been going on, and, well, I'm going to try to get this video put up as soon as possible. So, I guess this is just me signing off. I'm going to try to read the third book immediately. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye!